there, Pisces. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading for you guys focused on lost connections. So this is a past love. This is an ex-partner, a former lover of yours. This is for those of you who are not together. You're in separation. There has been no contact, maybe for a while, and maybe you still feel connected in the heart space when it comes to this individual, but you guys are apart. So let's take a look at that energy and see what comes through here. I'll be focusing on this deck to do that, A Passionate Love Affair by Angelic Revelation 144. And this is a general reading as always, Pisces, so please do keep that in mind throughout your reading and take the bits and parts of it that resonate and release the parts that don't. All right, so current vibes, current energies for lost connections for Pisces. What do we have here? Okay, love begins, okay? Maybe they're thinking about when you guys first got together, but it could also be, Pisces, that maybe you've just started a new connection and you could be in love with somebody else at this point. Let's see. This is, after all, a lost connection for a reason. The winter season could actually be giving you a time frame here, but it's also a part of your vibe, your energy, right? So it's picking up off of Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. So there's there's a reason why this is presenting itself here. Cozy, protective, and nurturing. As we enter the winter season, this vibe could be looking more prominent for you. Bottom of the deck, we do have a divine mirror soul connection. Okay, so that's what's currently coming through. I have a feeling for some of my Pisces viewers that you're in a very different connection, a very different relationship at this point, but you might have an ex-partner, a past love who might want to reach out or they're thinking about you currently, which is why it's coming through. So let's clarify with tarot. I'll be pulling from my tabby tarot teacher here for you, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, please. All right, currently, what's up? What's up for Pisces? You cut someone out of your life, okay? That's your clarity. You decided and you knew exactly when you did it that they just weren't meant to be a part of your future. And I feel you don't regret it, Pisces. You've got the sun. You're, you're focused more so on what you can manifest in your life at this point. Maybe at, at right now, you know, you're feeling more fulfilled in another connection compared to a past one. You broke free from a partnership. And why is that? We do have the Ten of Swords. We do have the Judgment. Okay. We've got the Tower. This is clarification that this clearly came to an end. We also have the Two of Cups. So I feel you're in love, Pisces, but you might not be in love with a past love if that makes sense. You know, we've got this betrayal right here. This was a very painful breakup for some of you, but it fell apart for a reason. And I feel, Pisces, you just weren't going to stick around in a relationship, in a situation that just did not check all the boxes here. So this is a door that you closed, and I feel you're content that you closed it. But nevertheless, you might still hear from this person. Either they need closure or they're thinking about you based off of how things might have played out, why you are not together. They could have learned some valuable lessons during this time. We clearly see that the foundation was lost with that tower. And when this happened, it created some drama there, you know. So, but I feel they'll reach out. They, they want to return. But I'm feeling for some of you, if this makes sense, you're you're already in a better position to manifest something else in your life. Got three of cups. I feel there's a past love that wants you back. They want a new beginning here. I feel they still love you. But I'm also getting for some of my Pisces people that... You found happiness elsewhere, okay? If you have been thinking of this past love, though, I feel it's really important for you to question 
why they want to return, what are their intentions, have they actually done work on themselves, have they actually learned a particular lesson behind why you guys broke up to begin with, why you're not together. Because that in and of itself is picking up off of that Ace of Swords. It's like a breakthrough for you to be able to get that clarity to see with a very sharp mind to make the best decision for yourself if this is even worth revisiting, you know? So let's go ahead and continue to tap into this lost connection and see what is their biggest regret when it comes to the two of you? You know, the fact that they're in your past now. All right, so I'll be pulling from the scenarios deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces. So we're now focusing on this lost connection's biggest regret. Or it could be plural, regrets. We'll see. All right, for Pisces. What's going on here? Their biggest regret. All right, so we've got a reverse card here, which is foreign affairs. It's in the reverse. Partners drifting apart, long distance affair, no longer speaking the same love language. You guys are on very different pages and they, they know that they're perhaps part of the reason why you're no longer on the same wavelength here, Pisces. Let's see what else. They could also be of a different background. I'm kind of getting that for some of you guys or even speak a different language. What is this one? This is Cancer, Cancer Lover. This could be a Cancer that you're thinking about, someone from your past, but it is in the reverse. So that's how we're gonna have to interpret that. It's somebody who's guarded have their walls up, too needy or clingy, gets triggered easily, manipulative partner. That could have been part of the reason why you broke things off as well, Pisces. Maybe they just never let you in fully. Maybe too, I'm feeling this for some of you guys, that you felt smothered in the relationship. Not that you didn't care for this person, not, you, not that you didn't have love for them, but if they were overly needy or clingy, I kind of feel for Pisces that that kind of got on your nerves after a while. Okay, let's see. Let's grab one more. We have the letter in the reverse. It's in the it's in the reverse as I mentioned. So an old love letter, an unexpected apology, long-awaited message from a past love. So I can't help but feel that they will communicate with you at one point, Pisces, because of whatever their regrets are, because they didn't let you in fully, because they might have been keeping things from you, or they smothered you in the partnership. So let's see. Let's grab some clarifying messages here with some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos tarot. For Pisces, lost connections. And they regret the fact that you guys are not together, that you're drifting apart, that that gap is widening, you know? Yeah. They want so much to talk to you. So, as it says, it's an unexpected apology that's coming your way because they have so many things that they want to say to you because of all of these regrets that they're holding on to. And yeah, they want to be able to start again. It's scary for them, though. They're not sure if you would even be open to talking to them, though. They're going to do it anyway, though. I keep saying though, <laughs> if I can say that one more time. You know, because the fool can represent, as it says, taking that leap of faith. You know, maybe they just believe that Whatever it is that they need to say to you at this point would either result in a reconciliation or at the very least closure or healing for them. But are you on board? That's the question. Are you on board? Look at this. 
we've got Cancer coming through here, Cancer Lover, and now we've got the Chariot representing Cancer. For some of you guys, I feel that's a prominent sign that, you know, this, this is that person coming through. And um, part of the regret that they have is maybe they know that there's just no way to create movement at this point. That it's just a far off fantasy of theirs to be able to create that movement or to be able to have some sort of progress towards communication. They're just really not sure if it'll pan out, but they're still believing enough in it that they're at least willing to try. Look at this, the death card. You could also be dealing with Scorpio. So obviously you're a water sign. We've got all the water signs represented. It came to an end. Clearly it ended in a separation because of something that drove a wedge between the two of you. Either it was an affair or there was just something about this connection that just didn't speak to you. It just did not, what, what's the word I'm trying to say? It just did not check all the boxes. Let's put it that way. There wasn't a clear understanding of, from your heart space anyway, that this was your person. But at this point, they could be thinking or feeling differently. I mean, we, we clearly see that it's not moving. They regret that as well. They think about you. Mm -hmm. The past influence has to do with those memories that you guys have shared. That's all they've got at this point. We've got the Seven of Cups. So part of the reason why you guys might have separated is because there could have been someone else in the picture. And maybe they regret choosing somebody else. Nine of Swords, anxiety, nightmares, feeling hopeless, wanting a fresh start. They still feel connected to you in the heart space. They dream about you, but some of those dreams actually cause more anxiety because even in their dream state, it doesn't end up being a happy ending. I feel subconsciously maybe this person really knows that. You know, so, so many regrets there when it comes to them, knowing perhaps that they are at fault as to why you guys aren't even together at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some cards to represent a future outcome. In a way, we kind of already know how it might go. All right, so we'll see. I'll be pulling from my Mystical Fairies Romance Oracle deck. For Pisces here. future outcome for this lost connection. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Do you see that? It will remain in a dream state. It's like they're going to forever fantasize about what the future would have been like if you guys just didn't end things or that the relationship went into separation. It will remain stuck in the future, I feel, because you would prefer that, Pisces, okay? Remember the Two of Swords that we saw. So there's a stalemate there for a reason, and it's now coming through, in the future anyway, as a delusion of theirs. It's like a mirage. It's not real. It's not real anymore, okay? Yeah, we've got vulnerability coming through as well. Cautious, fearful of risks, unprotected. I feel if they had the chance, they would, as I mentioned, face their fears anyway, because they still believe somewhere in their heart that you guys could have made it work. But that could have also been part of the delusion, right? You know, this could be you like feeling, I don't want to feel vulnerable. I know what I want. And... I don't want to take this person back. You know, maybe you're seeing those red flags. There's a reason for feeling cautious, right? I feel part of your future outcome here, Pisces, is you know very clearly 
what it is that you want and it is not this past love. I'm just getting that for you. There's something about it that just really, it does not check all the boxes. I feel you might ultimately be focused on somebody else where things are mutual. Okay, you guys are on the same page. Reciprocated feelings because there's someone from your past and I'm losing my voice, sorry. There's someone from your past where you are not feeling connected the way you felt connected to this person before, okay? So let's clarify this. I apologize for that beeping sound in the back. It's this truck that's been trying to back up for the longest. We're located next to a, a warehouse, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's see. For Pisces, lost connections. I feel it will remain lost because you don't want it. You don't want to reconnect. Look at that hangman. Hey, this represents your own Pisces energy. You needed to step away from this connection to find this clarity. And you have it now. You know what it is that you want. Divine Feminine. This could be you. For some of you guys, you could be thinking of a Pisces Divine Masculine. But I feel the Feminines, you are in a position to be able to create this wonderful future for yourself but you needed to step away from a partnership that just wasn't working for you and that's okay that's a really strong acknowledgement for you facing your truth mm -hmm. let's see what else if they had other choices in the past, this is now giving you other opportunities and choices to make for your future. But there is someone from your past who will always think about you, perhaps feeling like you really are the person that they missed out on, that they didn't recognize just how beautiful a connection you guys had. So, and I've said this for a few of the signs, perhaps that's how they're feeling about you, that you're the one that got away, Pisces. The way it's coming through, you're just focused on a future that you could share with somebody else. Maybe you've already found that somebody else. You do have a wish that can manifest in your future when it comes to love. It might have something to do with an Aquarian here. And then we have the Magician. So tools of manifestation that is a part of your journey in the future. Whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, you want to be able to make that a part of your reality, bring it into the 3D, whether that's a love connection, whether that's something else you're focused on, you really have the opportunity to bring it in for you Pisces. And I've been feeling that a while in some of my Pisces readings. So if you relate to this, you know that there's something great that's about to happen if it hasn't happened already. So just wait for it. I feel there's a lot of good things coming your way. All right, Pisces, so I will leave it right there, guys. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And of course, I'll include the link to the decks that you see here. Thank you guys so very much. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.